So today we're taking a look at the Colombo again, and I want to talk really specifically about the smoke. I think this is what makes this ship work. Um, the smoke is amazing. It is an incredibly powerful tool, especially on a battleship. Uh, it's amazing on Venezia, I'm sure you all know, but on a battleship, wow, this consumable is incredible. It allows you to disengage, it allows you to uh, keep people from shooting you, it allows you to reposition, it allows you to do a lot of very cool things, and uh, I think people aren't really valuing the power of this smoke properly. Uh, the ship, sure, it lacks dispersion, lacks range, it's not the stealthiest thing in the world, the guns are relatively low caliber, somewhat longer of a reload, it doesn't have AA, right? There's a lot of downsides to this ship, but I think this smoke more than makes up for it. So today, that's what I really want to look at, is how should you be using your smoke screens? And I think the most important one is just very basically to turn out okay uh, it's by far the simplest of the four uh ways we're going to be looking at today and if you get yourself into a bad position you're in a bad situation where you need to leave um or else you're going to die or you're going to give broadside to an enemy battleship that kind of thing you can just stop firing pop your smoke screen turn out for free um it's going to be very difficult for the enemy battleship to hit you. Uh, if you're someone like me, if someone like me is going to be against you, they'll probably try to blind fire you, unless there's a better shot to take. But still, they're not going to have locked on dispersion. It's going to be very difficult to deal damage to you. The one thing, of course, is torpedoes launched beforehand. They're still going to go through your smoke screen and hit you. It's not like it puts up a wall. It just keeps you concealed. Um, but this is the most basic use, I think, of this smoke. And it's one of the more valuable ones, but... Um, I think everybody kind of understands that the smoke can be used to turn out, so pretty basic one. Number two, I think crossing gaps that are dangerous or getting to island cover. I think this is a more, a little more advanced use of the smoke screen, uh, but still a relatively obvious one. There are a lot of gaps in this game that you can cross to get advantageous positions, but they leave you exposed to the enemy team. You're going to be broadside more than likely to a few ships, probably a couple battleships, just ready to shoot you. Uh, I'm sure you know of these gaps on many of the islands. I'm not going to really show all of the gaps, but um, this is a very useful way to set your ship up in a more advanced forward position. Something that a lot of people aren't really willing to do is to push these days. <laughs> Uh, but this smoke really does allow you to push out into these more dangerous areas without taking much damage. And that's why this that's one of the reasons why this ship can be played so aggressively. And I really, really do enjoy it for that. Now, getting into a little bit more complicated, uh, or maybe something you didn't think about as much with the smoke screen. But I've been using this smoke to reposition just in the middle of a match um especially when you're forced to run away and kite away from the enemy team oftentimes you're forced to just run almost straight backwards completely angled to the enemy team sometimes this results in you running into the map border or running out of room kiting away and there's a rock in your way or a big set of islands where you're forced to turn broadside to the enemy team and then you die um the smoke I've been using as a way to not only disengage, but as a way to cut my angle better. Um, so when I smoke up and I'm kiting and running away from the enemy team, I turn broadside onto the enemy team. And that allows me to get farther across and out of harm's way a little bit easier without running out of room. Uh, that's usually the biggest problem when you're kiting away, is you don't have enough horizontal movement. Uh, you tend to just run to the back of the map, and then you get stuck. Whereas this smoke allows you to get that horizontal movement for around a minute, and then you can turn and kite away again. It allows you this kind of horizontal blip on your route. And 
uh, can be very, very useful. And it makes the Columbo actually a very dangerous ship to push into. Uh, because it can just get these better positions, and it's really difficult to trap this ship in a corner. So, that's number three. Repositioning um, can be used in very creative ways. And I think the most important way to use the smoke screen is this last one. And I've said it on my stream a couple times, and I'm sure the better players amongst you would probably know this already. But the most important thing you can use your smoke for is a breather mid-fight, okay? Even if you're just sitting stationary and you have popped your damage control and you've popped your heal. They both go on cooldown. They have about a minute and 10 seconds, minute 20 seconds to reload and you're stuck, right? You're in a fight. People are going to set you on fire and you're likely going to die or lose a lot of health. Well, you can just pop your smoke as a way to reach your next consumable. This is gonna keep you alive far longer and has the impact of basically letting you get two heals off for free instead of just one heal off. And gets you to another damage control so you're not constantly ticking that uh, those dots, that damage over time. You're not gonna be dying to any of that kind of stuff. And I think that's the most valuable way you can actually use your uh, smoke screens. It's the way I've been honestly using a lot of my smoke screens in brawling situations, in uh, pushing situations, in kiting situations. The majority of the time I use my smoke screen, it is for the sole purpose of getting to my next heal and my next damage control. It's that powerful. And I've been having good success in this ship. I have played, I think, around 20 games right now. I'll flash up the uh, stats on screen, and I think I'm averaging over 160k damage at this point. So I'm doing pretty well. I think this ship is a lot of fun to play if you're able to use this smoke screen correctly. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today. Now, with all that said, these smokes facilitate aggressive gameplay. They allow you to play in aggressive positions and get out of them, cross dangerous gaps, um, reload your consumables, all that good stuff. But that doesn't mean you have to use them. Um, sometimes the game just doesn't require you to use them. Oftentimes, using your smoke can actually be a bad thing. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, because your smoke screen completely covers your ship, meaning you aren't able to spot things outside of your ship. So you have to be really careful about smoking up at the wrong time as well. If you're the person spotting someone who has to die, for example. Um, I've seen it a lot where destroyer players will be shooting at a ship that needs to die, and then because they get scared or because it's habit, they just smoke up and continue to try and farm that ship out but they don't realize they're the ones spotting. The same is true in the Columbo and all of the Italian battleship, battleships with smoke for that matter. It's really important that you don't pop your smoke to deny your team spotting, unless you absolutely have to, to live or cross a gap or whatever. There, there are scenarios where you do have to pop your smoke, but I do think that the right choice can often be to just not pop your smoke screen. Um, it can get a little scary that way, but um, it really is important to know when to pop your smoke screen. This Venezia, for example, is showing us an exact excellent example of when not to pop your smoke screen. He popped it too early. He's not getting the full use out of the consumable, and he's lit through his smoke screen. You gotta you gotta remember that you can easily be lit through your smoke screen if you shoot. I think it's somewhere in that 16 kilometer range for the Colombo. Venezia is shorter, obviously, but Colombo is big, so you don't want to be shooting when you're in your smoke screen, unless the perfect opportunity arises. But usually, you don't want to be shooting while in your smoke screen, and you don't want to pop your smoke when you know you're going to be lit. That's why it's really handy to have the uh, detection timer. Um, you can see I'm detected here, and you'll find that after I shoot, a little timer starts right underneath the uh, detection icon. Once that hits zero, my detection gets reset, and then I can go into my smoke and be undetected. 
Um, it's really, really important to know that cooldown, and that little mod definitely helps. Of course, you can count it in your head or kind of get a feel for it based on your main gun reload. Those are definitely the ways to do it. Um, if you don't really like mods, I can respect that for sure. So maybe keep an eye on your main gun cooldown. If you have a 30 second reload on your main guns, at the 10 second on the reload mark, uh, you know your detection will be reset. Just as an example. Smokes are very useful, but you gotta be really careful about when you use them. I think the biggest issue is possibly using your smoke screen to push in even further. You start getting shot at, and you pop your smoke screen because you're getting shot at, but you don't use it to turn out. You use it to continue to push in, and yeah, you're gonna be safe while in that smoke screen, but if you don't know where you're pushing into, and you just push farther in into the open, uh, you're just gonna die. And it's really, really important to use these smoke screens defensively, in my mind. The ship can push without these smokes. I think the smokes are here as a survivability tool and as a defensive tool. Uh, in this game, I actually don't even use any of my smokes at all. I'm using, inte I'm intelligently using these islands to um, push in to the enemy team and get these advanced positions. Sometimes some maps require a smoke screen. This time on this map, I didn't require a smoke screen. And that flexibility is really, 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 really nice to have. You notice I'm using AP here. Um, the sap actually does saturate. And the saturation on ships can lower the damage. So on a destroyer, you actually do want to use AP. The difference is so minimal in the amount of damage that you deal. Um, it's 50 damage extra to get the sap. But as soon as you start... Uh, shooting at saturated targets, if the destroyer hull gets saturated, for example, the amount of damage that you're going to do per shell goes and dips below that what AP would do. So I've been finding that the ammo choice that I want when I'm shooting at destroyers is actually armor piercing. Uh, funny enough. But it would be overpowered if sap did full pen damage to destroyers. I totally see that. Considering I'm able to get 30,000 damage salvos into battleships, yeah, it would not be fair for destroyer players if the sap full penned. And so, AP it is, basically. AP is also good against broadsides. <laughs> That's why Sansonetti is an excellent commander for this ship. I will be coming with a full review of this ship um, at some point. I just feel like I need to play it a little bit more and get a few more games in my belt before I can really... Um, really give a good review on this ship. I feel confident enough to tell you about the smoke screens, and that's why I wanted to show these games, these scenarios, these situations, and explain really why um, the smoke screens are powerful and how I like to use them. Because that is the main gimmick of this, this class, this uh, line, and it's important that you know how to use them. Um, because the ship is kind of weak without it in a lot of ways. Uh, if there was no smoke screen, I'm sure I probably wouldn't like this ship nearly as much as I do. So to recap, the reasons you should be using your smoke are primarily defensive ones. You want to use them to turn out, you want to use them to cross dangerous gaps, get to island cover, reposition, um, using the smoke as a way to trans uh, translate your ship horizontally across the map instead of just kiting straight back to say an island or the map border and most important of all to recharge consumables that is the main one i use it for and oftentimes i'm going to be using it for uh, a combination of all of these uh, different reasons to use your smoke screen i think some mistakes obviously are the smoke while pushing in without a specific target in mind if you don't really know uh, what safe island you're getting to or where you're going uh, you probably shouldn't smoke and push, you should smoke and turn out. And then, of course, smoke when spotting a critical enemy ship, assuming you're not in danger. That's a bad reason to use your smoke as well. They're complicated smoke screens, um, but I like them. And so far, I've really, really, really had a lot of fun with the Columbo. Uh, I showed you my first game, and that was an anomaly. <laughs> I, got a lot, I got very lucky that game, but... Uh, it's been going well since, and Lepanto has been great as well. 
Um, I haven't played the Tier 8 yet. Uh, that might be a video coming soon where I play my first few matches in the Tier 8. I've just been wanting to play Columbo because I've, had, I've been having so much fun in the Columbo. These 360 turrets are a lot of fun in the back. Assuming you stay pushing, the turrets are amazing. Um, there's situations even if you put position yourself bow in at a reasonable range or you're using island cover where you can just be swinging your turrets from one side of the map to the other and you're always able to have your full guns on the target. Um, it's risky because you're bow in but you have your smoke to turn out so kind of an interesting uh, little position that you can take is center of the map bow in and then you can just shoot whatever side you want. It's it's a fun ship. I really am enjoying it. The sap is weird, but does surprisingly reliable damage. Considering what I thought the uh, dispersion was going into this, I thought it was going to be really wonky going into it. But it actually hasn't been too bad. And before you say, well, that's because of Deadeye, I'm actually not using Deadeye. I am using Concealment, I'm using Fire Prevention, and I'm using the... Um, the upgrade that gives me one extra heal and uh, gives me longer duration heals and damage controls. I've found that Deadeye is relatively useless just because you're wanting to push in in this ship and there's usually someone within your detection range. The difference between your gun range and your detection range isn't very large so it's difficult to actually make Deadeye work in my, in my mind. So. I haven't actually been running it, and I've been doing incredibly well with it, so don't think this line is going away just because Deadeye is gone. It is it is quite good in its current state, um, especially in Ranked, where you get to push in and just do 210k damage in that short amount of time. <laughs> you, can, you can really walk in this ship. You can really push in and have an incredibly fun experience, so if you haven't, give this line a try. And consider the tips I've given you regarding smoke. I think they'll you'll find them very helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.